Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I hope everyone is doing super well. I am working from home today and it's a Thursday. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a very long time so I figured I would pick up the camera and especially since I took some clips from this morning because I went and met Bella who has been away for work for a while so it was nice to see her and to catch up. And then I just headed home, started work and now it's almost my lunch break. So I'm doing a little bit of a makeup touch up because I wanna film a few fun little like short videos I guess and I'm just making sure that my blush is gonna show I typically put a little bit more on for shooting or for filming and yeah that's basically it so we have a work from home day I basically only have had a croissant from Ralph's so I'm going to make lunch in a little bit and I'm gonna just finish the avocados that we have in the kitchen because I bought a pack of six and I was like, Polly, you have to help me finish these because I am not gonna be able to do it on my own. And he hasn't had a craving, he calls it, for an avocado at all this week. So it looks like I am going to be responsible for finishing them, which is fine. There's only like two baby ones left and I think I'm gonna make like a full lunch portion. Typically I'll do only one and have like a little something like fruit and stuff on the side for breakfast. But yeah, so that's gonna be the lunch plan. I am in this sort of like spring oriented look right now and it feels a little bit crazy. Okay, sorry, I just had to completely change up the angle to show you guys, but I feel a little bit strange wearing something like this because we did kind of freeze this morning. It was like 31 degrees and Belle and I were walking to Ralph's separately, but when we got there, I was like, I feel like it's not that cold, so I'm going to get a nice coffee, and I got one, and my hands were numb, and like, to the point where they were hurting, so it definitely feels a little bit weird and out of place for me to be wearing this, but I did film a quick little short video of the dish pieces that I have and the things that I love from that brand, because I love them for spring and summer specifically. They do really good linens, really good tailoring, and like very classic pieces. And this is one of them, and I put it on, and I was like, okay, I think I wanna wear this for the rest of the day. So I have a white t-shirt on from Uniqlo. These are the best white t-shirts ever. I think I have a little bit of makeup on mine. But I love the little bit of a longer sleeve, but it's not super oversized. It looks structured, and it looks like it's a really good material, which I think it is. It's fully not see-through either. I've worn like a black bralette with it. And you can't see through, but I popped that on underneath this little vest from Dish. So I have the matching shorts, but obviously it's a little too crazy for me to wear shorts, so I just popped it on with this pair of blue denim, which I love this color paired with white, paired with black, and also with denim, and some black accessories. So I would do like this black handbag, or like any black bag, and then a pair of black flat sandals when the temperatures start to warm up a little bit. So yeah, I really loved this. My jeans are actually from J. Crew, and I got them a couple weeks ago as a birthday gift from my parents. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but they are really, really wide leg. But I think that they look so luxurious. I mean, they are a little bit pricier. They're around like 148, I think, but they come up super high-waisted, they kind of, and then they have this super baggy fit on the bottom, which I think looks very, very fashionable. Like specifically, like you work in the fashion industry. I don't know, that's just what comes to my mind. But they're also very comfortable and I feel like the shape is very, very wearable. So I like how chic they are, but they're not too much, if that makes sense. They're kind of like a straight leg trouser, but in a denim form, like a little bit more than any of my other jeans. But I love these colors together. So I'm gonna wear this while I work from home just to have something a little bit more dressy and like put together to go along with my productivity of the day. So during lunch, I do have one video that I wanna film that I've been talking about for a while, so I'm not gonna mention it again, um, but I kind of put that off because you guys know if you saw my last vlog that I had forgotten my laptop at my sister's apartment. Today's Thursday, as I mentioned, and it is still there. I thought that I was going to her apartment so that we can write our speech for my sister's wedding that's coming up next weekend and we've just been jotting down like different notes and jokes and stuff like that because we were trying to make it funny and not too long so we're gonna reconvene today but I thought I was going to her apartment after work and it's so nice that I brought my laptop home today because I was planning on going into the office and then going to her apartment because it's closer to my office 
And she's like, no way, I'm going home tomorrow, I'm getting a haircut, I'm getting my nails done, like all this stuff, because she has um, the day off. And I was like, okay. So we're doing it virtually, and that means I'm not gonna get my laptop. So her friend, who was at her apartment last night, they did like a little girls night, which was so cute. She works near my sister's apartment. And she was like, I'm coming back into the city tomorrow after work, so I could just bring your laptop with me, and then you could just get it from my apartment if you want, because otherwise, I wouldn't have it until next weekend when it's my sister's wedding and obviously I'm not gonna have time to vlog or like edit the vlog so I was like okay please bring it back with you thank you so much and I'm gonna go pick it up tonight she gets home at around 6 30 and I'm gonna go grab it because I have like videos that need to be edited and approved by brands I have been vlogging my head off if you guys could not realize but um yeah so we have a lot of editing to do so i'm gonna go grab my laptop later today so it did end up working out that i will have my laptop tonight but the plan was just a little bit all over so i'll have my laptop i will get the vlogs edited as soon as i possibly can i can't remember if the oldest one i have is something that needs to be approved hopefully not so i could just get that done but that's kind of the reason why I wasn't filming these other videos that I was talking about because I was like, I already have all these vlogs built up that I need to edit and post and I'm not gonna like bust out five videos in a week unless you guys want that. But um, yeah, so I'm finally gonna film that today so that next week, probably in the middle of the week, I'll like throw it in between the vlogs because it's a fashion oriented video and then we can just continue on with our regular scheduled programming after I've made that mistake and left my laptop at her apartment and created this whole mess. So really long, really long explanation, but I will have the laptop tonight and I'm basically just gonna sit here with my AirPods in and crack out all of those videos for you guys. So I'm going to get ready to film. I think I'm actually going to do it in the living room because I normally always film my fashion videos inside of the bedroom and our sheets need to be changed. They're changing the vents in our washer dryers or just in the dryers this today and tomorrow. So I can't do laundry during the day, but I'll start it at 4 p.m. when they're gone. Um, but our sheets are currently all over the place and I didn't make the bed on purpose because I'm taking them off. So we're gonna film it out here. It's a lot cleaner, it's a different setup and I think I'm probably just gonna wear this. So if you guys see this in the video, you know it's just because I was too lazy to change. So we're gonna have to pull a tiny little audible on the avocado toast because they're both brown on the inside. And as much as I really wanted it, I just don't want brown avocado. So I don't really know what we have. We definitely need to go, we definitely need to go food shopping. I have a half an onion, lemon, another half of an onion, two slices of bread left, ricotta, two containers, which maybe I'll just do ricotta toast because I did already pop the bread in. Some bananas that I actually wanted to make little like peanut butter chocolate covered banana snacks. So maybe I'll try to do that later today. And they're frozen or like you freeze them afterwards. So I feel like it's fine that these are a little bit ripe. <laughs> um, and then we have an open case of Corona lights. So I think we're going to do a Trader Joe's trip later in the week, probably on Saturday morning, just to kind of like get that situation. Like this entire top shelf is empty, which... We had a whole tray of food here from my sister's engagement because they had too much food and they let us take a whole thing home. So that's why that's empty, but we definitely don't have enough in here to make some lunch meals. Why did I think that this one piece of hair hanging down looked cute? We're just gonna tuck her behind the ear. So I just finished eating my avocado toast. Um, not my avocado toast, my ricotta toast, because as we know, the avocados went terribly wrong. Um, but I'm just starting to gather the handbags that we're using for the video that I'm going to film. So, sneak peek, it's about handbags, but I wanted to do a little spotlight on my Song Mont bag because 
it was either two or three videos ago that I unboxed it and that I've been using it in every single vlog and you guys are probably either getting sick of seeing me use it or you're like, I need that bag. And so I wanted to do a more in-depth talk and a little chat about this bag because it's honestly one of my favorites. And I'm laughing because I think I said, like, I hope they see this because I'm obsessed with this bag. And they did see it and they are sponsoring this part of the video. So I'm really excited. Obviously, this was a product that I already had from them. Full transparency, it was gifted, but this has been one of the most amazing bags that I've ever had in my collection, and I say that with full confidence. Um, just overall, the silhouette of the bag, I think, is probably my favorite part. So it's beautiful, but it's also practical, and we have the grained leather that is super durable. It looks like I haven't even touched this. It looks like I just unboxed it, but I've probably used it around 10 times since I got it two weeks ago. And it's been my weekend bag. I've brought it to work when I didn't have to bring my laptop and it's served all different types of purposes. So we do have the top handles that are actually pretty wide, which is easy for when you have like a big coat on, which is what I've been facing for the past couple of weeks because it's been in the 30s, but it's really just an easy bag to throw on. I don't feel like it's too much fuss. And that's how I've mainly been wearing it. But the bag does have this long strap, which I feel like that's an added benefit to it if you're someone who likes to wear your bags crossbody. And we do have a couple of features on the inside. There is this closure. So it kind of just like slides and it's a really small, tiny detail of this antique gold finish. And on the inside, we also have this pouch that is super practical for security. So I do put my card holder on the inside zip part of this pocket. And then this pocket I typically put my AirPods into, but you could also put a card holder in there. And this snaps with these two into the interior of the bag. Super roomy at the bottom. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the main compartment without it. It's like that full surface area of the bottom of the bag is what you have to work with. I don't know what else I can say about this. On top of this, the brand is super sustainable and they have a huge, huge attention to detail in conjunction with that sustainability. So they don't sacrifice the design or the product for sustainability. So I really love that. I really like that they're practical in the sense that they offer different styles of bags, but then they also offer different sizing within those styles. So this is the... I don't know what size I have. I will put text on the screen of the exact one that I do have. Though, yeah, it's just really been amazing and I'm so happy to share this with you guys. The dust bag is also made out of recycled materials, so we love that. And on top of everything, I've just been taking really good care of this. The price point is definitely lower than a luxury price point, but I feel like the quality is definitely not compromised. This is probably just as good or better quality than some of the designer handbags that I have and I know that this is going to last inside of my collection. So just wanted to do a little spotlight on the Songmont bag that you guys have been seeing a ton and tell you like my full thoughts about it and how I've been wearing it. So thank you to Songmont for sponsoring this part of the video. This is definitely not going to be the only Songmont bag that I will have in my collection because it was so hard for me to choose in the first place. So I have a meeting in, let me see. So I have a meeting in about 10 minutes. I've actually been watching Wish Wishbone Chicken on YouTube because she started a YouTube channel. She's actually from my high school. So Meredith was in my same class um, and she was always like very funny, very hardworking. And so when she started her um, cooking Instagram and her cooking um, TikTok. I was like, she's so talented and I know that she works really hard and she's just a genuinely nice person and I'm like, she deserves so much success and this is when she had like 2,000 Instagram followers in the middle of COVID and I was like, she deserves to be famous and now she has a million, well, I think it's like 1.2 million followers on Instagram. She's so successful and I just love seeing that for her. So I am supporting and we're catching up on her YouTube videos. She basically does like how to host a dinner party, which is something that I I'm really excited to do in like my next phase of life when I have like a house and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just learning a lot and it's also just very entertaining at the same time. So if you guys like cooking and hosting and like aesthetics, her apartment is beautiful, then definitely check out her channel. It's Wishbone Chicken. No, Wishbone Kitchen. I was doing this before. I always say chicken instead of kitchen because it's Wishbone. But um, Wishbone Kitchen is her channel and definitely check it out. She's amazing. So I'm gonna finish up that episode for the next 10 minutes. And then I have a call with the store and just regular work for the afternoon. And I also forgot that I need to film this video. So I'm gonna do that first. 
then try to see if I can finish the Wishbone Kitchen episode. And if not, I'll just watch it later in the day while I'm working. Okay, so my call with the store was actually really quick. They just had one question to ask me, and it was supposed to last until the end of my lunch break. So I think I am going to start to upload some things to Poshmark because I have a lot of stuff and it's very overwhelming, but I haven't had the time to upload it. I also just sold something like 10 minutes ago and you should have seen me. I was like basically jumping up and down because anytime I can get some of this stuff out to a new home, it just makes me so happy and just kind of makes it feel a little bit lighter in the apartment. So I'm going to get some of that stuff done. I have about 20 minutes left, so I'm just going to get all of the photos taken while it's still light out and then I'll post them later tonight because I obviously don't need light to post them. Um, but I have a lot of stuff and no photos of it. So let's get that done for the rest of my lunch break while I watch the rest of the Wishbone Chicken episode. Okay guys, it's been a while. I had another call and now I'm sitting here with my computer and this stupid little box of Tagalongs. These, for those of you who don't know, are Girl Scout cookies. And it's like a little shortbread cookie with peanut butter dipped in chocolate. And I'm not kidding when I say I used to come home from high school and eat like 10 or more of these. Like almost a box. My mom used to buy like 10 boxes every single year and I would just plow right through them. It was actually quite disturbing, but they're really good. I only had five, so five out of 15. This is also my second box, and they were delivered on Wednesday. No, Tuesday, and today's Thursday, so we'll just let that sink in. But yeah, I'm enjoying my afternoon. I don't have too much going on now into like no more meetings. And my emails are kind of slow for some reason. I'm, I'm like, is my Wi-Fi not working? But um, yeah, I'm kind of just slowly trucking along, having a nice relaxing afternoon. And my little, what is that brand? Oak Essentials candle is lit and it's fragrancing the entire living room, kitchen, like area of the apartment. So that's amazing because I feel like a lot of the candles that I buy don't do that. The fragrance just stays in like one area. But I was in my room taking pictures for Poshmark and I felt like as soon as I came out, the smell was like everywhere over there. So really love that one. I have the rose scent and it's burning on the coffee table. So, so nothing else to chat to you guys about now. I'm basically just counting down the hours until I can go and pick up my laptop because that's just my separation anxiety from being able to upload on YouTube. One more thing of the day. I just got a package from J. Crew. This was actually my only one that I had today. It's been pretty slow in the mail room recently, which is actually great because I haven't been getting in like a huge influx of things, which is kind of nice. Um, and I'm also just laughing at the fact that I'm using the X-Acto knife that I used to put contact paper on our countertops when I preach to you guys all the time that you need a box cutter because way better than using like scissors or a knife, you know, anything else you can find. But it's this nice little white box with this raised or embossed J. Crew on it. And they sent a pair of knit trousers, which I'm so excited about. I love their branding also. It's just like super minimal. And I feel like this is what J. Crew is like. I feel like J. Crew is living the dream right now. They had a rebranding and I think that they are doing super well. So I actually saw these in the store the other day when I ordered a size of these jeans in the long size that I'm wearing right now. Um, but these are their knit trousers. The material's super, super thick and luxurious and they come down to a crop style. So I'm probably gonna style these with like loafers and a sweater like moving into spring, but Really cute, very stretchy, but also like kind of holds you in. So thank you to J. Crew for sending these over. Good morning, guys. Coming to you fresh faced on a Friday with a pimple patch on this pimple that will not go away. It's actually so annoying. I feel like it was from, I know what it was from. I was very dehydrated for a couple of days and wasn't keeping up with my water. And that's usually when I tend to get breakouts because my skin doesn't really like that. Um, but I'm in my pajamas and it's 7.45. We are gonna go to Trader Joe's for when they open. 
It's like my favorite thing to do. I did it in the last vlog and we're doing it, or two vlogs ago, and we're doing it in this vlog because I completely forgot to tell you that we're hosting our like part two housewarming party tonight with everyone who couldn't make it from the first one. So only fitting that we've been in this apartment for like six months that we're gonna have another housewarming, but yeah, we kind of have a little bit of experience because of the first one and this one's gonna be like half the amount of people, maybe a little less. So we're gonna do like a signature cocktail. I'm gonna make this pizza thing that I'm gonna do like as an appetizer and then Polly I think it's gonna do charcuterie and then the apartment needs to be spotless. So I kind of cleaned a lot yesterday just to make sure that I like prepped a little bit. I've been watching Wishbone Kitchen's videos as you guys saw and she was talking about how like you prep yourself for the day before so that the day of you don't have too much to do and for me that was like cleaning up the apartment because that took forever last time so I am gonna go to Trader Joe's with Polly in about 15 minutes we're gonna leave and then we have the post office I have a pile of packages that I think you guys could probably see up on the ledge there of Poshmark orders and I have two more things that sold while I was sleeping which is <laughs> amazing so I have to get that stuff and package it up and we're gonna do one big run to the post office during lunch and get those out super quickly so that everyone can get them over the weekend so let's get dressed for Trader Joe's it's a little bit rainy today but honestly it's not that bad it was supposed to be like really like coming down in the morning but I'm seeing like clouds but also blue skies so I think we got a little bit lucky but I'm gonna wear something cozy just in case. So this flower arrangement took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And I mean, I'm not anywhere near a professional. This looks a little strange to me and the hard part is that I have no idea why. So I think we're just gonna keep it like this. I didn't expect for these guys to like fully surround the pot, but I guess since this is like a small little vase, it doesn't really like hold flowers up that well. They kind of just like fall over the side and I'm okay with it looking like a little bit more like wildflower-ish but it looks a little unbalanced to me right now like there's a gap right here so I might try to like fill it in and just move them around a little bit like I just did there to make it look a little bit better because I don't know like this is sagging so far down mm. and it's just it's not the greatest but I really like the colors so there's a plus Okay, so favorite part of the morning, it's time for a coffee break. And I completely forgot about the Trader Joe's cold brew concentrate. Ow. We love a little commentary from the peanut gallery. So despite the fact that I was so excited to drink this, I still have not used it, which I think is kind of crazy. Um, so we're going to do an eight ounce cup. I think this glass is 12 ounces, which is good because... I'll have to fill in the rest with milk. What is so? I forget how to use this. I think I, oh, it's one part coffee concentrate, two parts milk or water, which this with like half this and half milk, I actually can't remember. So we're just gonna do it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, first impression is that it looks a little bit light, but I guess I do drink my lattes this color. So we're gonna try it. I mean, it's still pretty roasty considering it's light in color, but I think I'm gonna add another splash of the cold brew concentrate. It's also a little bit more bitter, just to warn you guys, but you can always put some sort of like a sweetener in it. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of either caramel or hazelnut in here just to sweeten it up because it is 
very strong but that tastes better it like barely changed the color but i did add a little bit more i need to do my nails now but also i booked in a nail appointment for sunday i haven't gotten my nails done in like three months and for my sister's wedding that's happening a week from t oh my gosh it's a week from t today is the rehearsal dinner which is crazy but um a week from today is her wedding and my nails are nowhere near like to the point where they're all going to be the same length and they're all going to be like long and nice i'm going to go and get them done with someone that my friend olivia had recommended she didn't recommend them i reached out to her and i was like where do you get your nails done and we're going to be traveling all the way to kipps bay for this appointment on sunday which it's fine it'll be something for me to do and it's at 3 p.m so it's like later in the afternoon when I probably would just be like sitting on the couch like a vegetable. So I'm excited for that. But for now, I think these three nails that I've picked off need to be painted. Because Good morning guys I'm fully ready to go I have a lot of makeup on to cover up for the fact that I'm a little bit down bad right now and I also used my tanning drops last night so I'm hoping those don't develop unevenly but last night was such a fun night we had everyone over there were maybe like 11 or 12 of us and everyone fit like really nicely into the apartment it was a very different feel from our first not our first housewarming the actual housewarming that we had and this was kind of a makeup but the apartment looked really nice. We were scrambling to like clean up. It's always like a little bit high stress for me because I'm not used to hosting. These furries from my sweater are just getting all up in my lipstick. <laughs> um, but it was really nice. Everyone had a really good time and then we went to a bar afterwards. And what time did we come home? Do you remember? Okay. Not sure what time we got back, but I woke up feeling a little not great so um went back to sleep for a little bit it's now 9 40 and i'm going to meet sophia at the lost draft but <laughs> i always do this but i think i'm going to start off a new vlog for the weekend because it just feels right i don't know we were vlogging thursday friday just because i was working from home and i feel like this is also a pretty long video so i'm going to end this one off here Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so appreciative of every single one of you and I hope you liked this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff and I will see you guys in my next one.